While Sarawak is renowned for its sprawling rainforests, thriving wildlife, cultural diversity, and mouth-watering delicacies, the state also boasts of several natural treasures. On a recent trip to the state, FMT met up with Sarawak's tourism, arts, culture, youth and sports minister, Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza Karim. When asked which of the state's must-see attractions, he named his top picks. For those visiting Sarawak, these places should be on your bucket list. Sarawak Cultural Village, a living museum and a must visit for any traveler. This 6.8 hectare compound provides a unique look at Sarawakian culture and history. There are a host of exhibits showcasing traditional costumes and weapons, as well as live music and dance shows. There are also classes and workshops that visitors can participate in, with buildings modeled after traditional homes of different ethnic groups for visitors to explore. A word of advice, you will need a full day to visit the village. There's a lot to see. Bako National Park. Established in 1957, the oldest national park in the state spans a massive 27 square kilometers. It is located about 40 minutes northeast of Kuching. The park is home to nearly every species of plant life native to the island of Borneo, and is also the place to see proboscis monkeys, Bornean bearded pigs, pangolins and otters, among scores of other animals. Samungo Wildlife Park. This sanctuary, about an hour south of Kuching, has been rehabilitating and caring for the endangered orangutan since 2003. Over here, orangutans can be found in their natural habitat. There are also areas where gibbons and crocodiles can be observed, and the park is a favorite for bird watchers too. Sarawak Museum, under renovation, reopening soon. While still under renovation, but slated to reopen soon, Borneo's oldest museum was opened in 1891 and takes visitors on a vibrant tour of the state's history with exhibits that the whole family can appreciate. It's long been one of Kuching's best attractions. We're very excited for it to reopen. Renovations were supposed to be completed last year, but the pandemic slowed things down, said Karim. Visitors can view a large collection of natural history exhibits, as well as pristine examples of traditional Orang Asli artifacts, like handicrafts and instruments. Wind Caves and Fairy Cave. Just 30 minutes by car from Kuching in Bao, the caves boast spectacular stalactite and stalagmite formations. There are designated areas for visitors to swim in the river to cool off after a long trek. The caves are also home to a number of rare species of flora and fauna. Visitors are reminded to bring their own flashlights. Jong Crocodile Farm and Zoo. Separated only by a metal fence, visitors can get up close to the prehistoric reptiles at the largest crocodile farm in Malaysia. Apart from crocodiles, there are also numerous rare species of birds and animals found only in Borneo for visitors to discover. Waterfront Kuching. With gorgeous views during the day and mesmerizing lights at night, the Kuching waterfront offers picturesque views of the State Assembly Building, Astana Kuching, and the Fort Margarita. It's a place where one can enjoy the Sarawak gondola, watch the sunset, or just laze around and admire the beauty of the city, said Karim. There are also stalls selling local delicacies like Sarawak Laksa and Kolomi along the river, so it doubles up as a place to grab a meal and refuel after a scenic walk. Nearby, there is also the historic Carpenter Street, lined with restaurants, bars, and street art. With interstate travel open once again, Karim expressed hope that more people would visit the state and enjoy the many must-see attractions.